Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Everton have been linked with Turkish midfielder Yusuf Yazihi, 27-year-old, is a free agent uh, after le leaving Lille in the summer. Uh, Leicester and Bournemouth are also interested in the player. Um, this player can play in any of the front three positions, really, apart, well, behind the centre forward, so left, right, centre. We've got quite a lot of those plays at the moment, but um, he is a free agent. So, yeah, we have been linked to him. Whether it happens or not is another issue altogether. But um, could he play on the right? Then maybe he would give us something that we haven't got already. But we'll have to wait and see if this one develops. Seamus Coleman has returned to Everton after picking up an injury which forced him off the pitch in Ireland's 2-0 defeat by England. Details of the injury are yet to be confirmed. Coleman was replaced on the pitch by Everton defender Jake O'Brien. Uh, also in the game, Jordan Pickford completed the 90 minutes uh, and obviously got a clean sheet. Yeah, really disappointing for Seamus Maguire. Sort of went down the back of his leg, down the back of his Achilles um, in the second half and he hobbled off the pitch, which was, I suppose... I suppose one thing you would say is that he hobbled off the pitch rather than being carried off. It didn't look absolutely terrible, but it's another setback for Seamus, who obviously has only played the one Premier League game so far this season. Everton have got issues at right back and really, really have to deal with them. So no idea just yet how long, if, if it keeps them out and how long it does keep them out for, but Everton have obviously got a game against Villa on... Saturday and they play Tuesday against Southampton in the Carabao Cup. So decisions are going to have to be made on on the right back situation. It's become a little bit farcical the amount of different players who've played at right back in the last twelve months. It needs to be addressed. So uh, we wish Seamus um, all the best getting back to full fitness. In other international games, Ariel Mangala uh, and uh, yes, well Lindstrom both uh, were unused subs for uh, their countries over the weekend. Uh, Michalenko played 90 minutes in Ukraine's defeat by Albania. Adrissa Garnagay played 61 minutes for Senegal today and was replaced by Everton forward Ilman and Dai in their 1-0 victory. That's back-to-back -back victories for Senegal over the weekend. Uh, Adrissa Garnagay uh, started the game for them on Friday as well in another win uh, and Dai was uh, not involved. Belgium play France tonight to another opportunity for Mangala to be involved in that game ahead of a potential debut for him at the weekend against Aston Villa for Everton. Uh, James Rodriguez has spoken on leaving Everton. He said, I never wanted to leave. I felt that I could have gone on to play two or, th two or three seasons more at the club. Um, but it's plain to see that the manager said that he wouldn't be wanting me to be involved. The supporters wanted me to stay, and so did I, which is, yeah, it's that's a... I know we've heard that before. That's a bit of a dagger in the heart for a lot of fans. Hamas Rodriguez was loved by Evertonians. Most of us didn't get to see him ever play a competitive game for the club, um, and it would have just been lovely, but Rafa Benitez had other ideas it's where that actually as well Evan could have afford afforded to keep the player as well on the wages he was on he was on Champions League wages and certainly Everton have got championship salaries so it's one of those things isn't it but it, what could have been eh? certainly after the summer watching him play for Colombia in the cup but he was magnificent and obviously he's gone to Spain now and Illiman and Dai has won goal of the round for his goal in the second round of the Carabao Cup, the solo strike against Doncaster in Everton's 3-0 win. And that really did set him up for his first Premier League start against Bournemouth, which really should have been a winning start. He should have got, you know, with him getting man of the match, but sadly, it wasn't meant to be. But I'm sure he's going to become a mainstay in Everton's team now and hopefully we can see more of those uh, goals being scored. There you go, this has been the Everton News Daily. We'll have more news tomorrow. 
make sure to give this video a like subscribe if you haven't already and you want more great videos join us over on toffee tv premiere the link is in the description and the qr code is coming on the screen now see you later